The snow moving in along the coast range and yeah, along Highway 26 tonight, lots of snow. That's a place we've been watching, of course, and so has our Jamie Seymour. She's been tracking those conditions all night long. What is the latest and where are you at now, Jamie? So we are heading back into the Portland metro area and things are considerably drier from just a little ways back when we were in the higher elevations, about 1500 feet or so in the coast range and the best spots that we saw some snow coming down pretty good was between timber and LC. But right here in the lower elevations right now, the roads are still a little wet from earlier. The rain earlier, um, nothing coming down right now, but as those temperatures continue to drop, that could very well change. As drivers hit the road heading to the coast Tuesday, conditions quickly went from rain in some spots to snow coming down along Highway 26 in the higher elevations around 1500 feet. The National Weather Service issued a winter storm warning for coast range through Wednesday morning with heavy snow expected above 1,000 feet. Traffic was pretty sparse along 26, but Coin 6 caught up with one visitor from San Diego, making his way back to Portland from a day trip to Cannon Beach. I know down there right now we're getting a lot of rain, but not snow or any tight and it's not never just cold either, so it's a little different. <laughs> he says he was prepared after seeing snow along the shoulders of the highway heading to the coast earlier, keeping things slow on the way back. It wasn't that bad. I didn't hit any black ice or anything like that. It was just pretty smooth sailing. Just had to keep it slow and just uh, keep the distance. With temperatures dropping overnight, some of those slick parts of Highway 26 could also turn to ice. So officials urge caution if you must drive that area and take things slow. Now, if you do have to get out in some of these areas that are already seeing winter weather or even in the next few days, Make sure you're prepared that your car is gassed up, that you have snow chains in your trunk and you know how to put them on or make sure you have supplies like water and blankets in case you get stuck. Reporting live in Washington County, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News.